What was it like and what was the best part about working with such legendary artists such as Jimmy Page and Jack White and, and The Edge? What was the most exciting part about shooting this film? Everything. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think you, you're, you're excited, you're excited, and then, you know, Jimmy plugs in his amp and starts playing. And it's like everyone, when they in a live concert, and they feel music blasting out of the speakers. You know, and you say, you know, words don't count. This is music pushing through me. You know, and I hope we could capture a little bit of that in the movie. Definitely. Jack, um, you and The Edge and Jimmy come from very different generations. I mean, live in different countries, have different techniques and styles. What would you say that you learned from the other guitarists while you were shooting this film, if anything? Oh, as much as possible, as much as possible. I mean, I took every scene that we did together and uh, it was just selfishly trying to, to learn as much as I can about technique and attitude, but mostly the, just the, the whole scope of how each of those players uh, attack their instrument and, and, how, and, how, and what, what they can do with it. Um, I was just really wondering for you, how would you say an uh, artist and as a musician, how do they cultivate that relationship with their guitar? Well, I think it sort of, I think it sort of kicks in at a very early stage in there. You know, when they first start playing, it's it's something that you that uh, that you can that, that that you can work with. It. You can get lost in the world of the guitar, plus all the things that you're learning from, whether it's from records or from visual images, you know, television or CDs or whatever. You just start to take you, you you enter into a totally different world. From the outside one, you know, so it's, it's this world of being dedicated to the instrument. And Jack, I mean, you work on a lot of different <coughs> musical projects. How did you balance working on your projects and working on this film at the same time? Well, I tried to kill two birds with one stone. I was looking for new guitar players, so I thought I'd try these guys out a little bit, uh, Jimmy and Edge, and it didn't really work out. Failed. But, yeah. Failed <laughs> yeah, but, you know, there's a lot of guys out there, so. Well, you just, you know, I mean, if things are working, <laughs> if things are working, you, uh, you, let them, you let them work and you let them breathe. And, and, and if a new project comes about, even if it's in the middle of another project, you know, uh, you just have to make time for it. You know, there's, it, it's, it's, it's wrong to get in the way of art or expression if you, if you can help it, you know. And Davis, for you, I mean, this guitar, this instrument is such an amazing instrument and it's revolutionized the music industry and music as we know it. Why do you feel like this instrument is so revolutionary? I don't know. I just know that it is. I mean, um, it's clearly carried through these many generations and it's, Edge says it in the movie, you know, every time, every time we think it's counted out, you know, and hip hop comes in, and hip hop's great, and then the guitar punctures back through. There's something very American, very English, very uh, youth-oriented, very rebellious, and hits a chord, and the whole crew just kind of like shudders because of the raw power of it. You yeah, know? it seems to be the perfect vehicle for statement. You know, for certainly for youth. You know, and rebellion. It just seems to tr translate, transmit through the guitar. All these generations that have, you know, just passed. And, future generations seem to still be using this as a, yeah. a major instrument and power tool. Power tool. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much.